Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Captain Pope the Sailor. Today we will be taking the PIA cognitive test and uh, I am applying for a job in a new company. So this test has been forwarded to me uh, through by email. So let's uh, get into the business. You, as you know, this is a 12 minutes uh, 50 questions test. So you will receive the link and then as you proceed, so you will see the first few sample questions. So you answer that questions and then you have to proceed for the test there will be some uh, instructions uh, how to go about for the test and you can proceed for that just for a tip that you need to prepare for this test in advance so that you brush up on your mathematics skills your verbal reasoning abstract reasoning uh, you know grammar uh, so you just have a revision on these things and there are a few uh, internet sites are uh, available for this uh, practice so I've started the test you can see in the right hand corner timer is there 12 minutes and this abstract uh, reasoning or abstract this uh, figure step question they give me a little bit jitters always but it takes time and within 12 minutes it's really you know so you need to be very quick in this to answer this 50 questions I could answer only 44 because I wasted some time on this figures only uh, otherwise uh, English and uh, mathematics was uh, a bit uh, easier than this so you see the first five questions were uh, a little bit of time but as you but if you practice I, I have practiced uh, about two three hours before this test so you need to refresh it if you know that this test is going to come maybe a couple of days you can start and then before the test also you refresh on the internet and you can find that within these 50 questions around what 15 to 20 questions are from that test only so and sometimes like this uh, question which number is the lowest that will find two three times but a different uh, what you call the configuration is different of the numbers like these assumptions things so this takes a little bit time you know to read that and then to assess it so you know this is moving in anti-clockwise direction the gray so the arrow will be downwards the gray one you see you have to think so you know it's taking time it's not that easy but the uh, questions like uh, when it's asking for opposite words that it's easier to guess you know because you are your English is good and you have been uh, always speaking English with so you know so like this is uh, question is uh, mathematics you need to have you know if you are at home you can use a calculator but you need to be fast but if you are giving it in your office exam so you need to be you know you cannot use a calculator over there So I totally answered about 43 questions and if you think any of these questions uh, I had answered wrong so you can always uh, comment so that it will be easier for beneficial for the other guys and uh, for information I received the mail from the office that I have uh, sorry on the whatsapp they told me that uh, you have cleared both the tests so it was 25 marks plus the minimum so 43 so I think I could have got <laughs> could have got at least 25 so whatever answered was uh, enough for myself like this figure question number 14 you know it took a little bit more time because and like this I did not appear in any of the test uh, practice test you see the above question also I had to go back there so I wasted a few minutes here, here on this question and then the below question and after the 20th question I took a little bit uh, pace you know so otherwise uh, you will not be able to complete uh, you need to at least complete 30 35 you know so that even if you are 25 at least you can say that 10 are wrong so you are 25 marks apart otherwise you have to recheck uh, retake this uh, test again you see but if 4 minutes have passed and uh, I was on the 15 question only 
so practice is the key that what i think uh, means what i found from my experience you know to uh, practice a few practice uh, test uh, questions on the internet and there are uh, it's available on the internet a few practice sessions and there are paid also but it's not need uh, to take the paid one because they are costing 78 dollars uh, or something so just uh, practice on your skills on this uh, uh, addition of the fractions and you know so maximum questions are like that only like the lowest value so you'll find four or five questions within the 50 of this so if you are confident on this you'll gain your you know five marks there because it has to click very fast you know and here i also wasted the time little bit time over here see it's already 5 minutes gone but i have not still crossed the 20 mark but after the 20th question or the last 5 minutes were really fast because you know the panic uh, had set in and the brain starts move faster but uh, nevertheless um, clearing was uh, the main part music so in this question the it's like they have all have four parts only the last one has three parts so that is the answer for that question number 22 You see, again the question with the lowest value has popped up. Then you will have the, you know, like the hands are to clock or pages are to, you know, all these type of questions. So if you are, what you call not good in mathematics or you know, figure identifying, then you go for this question first and you can come back again. So don't waste your time on the. questions which you think are taking more time so you first finish off this easier questions within this 50 and then you can come back and you know keep on answering the questions which you can you think you can answer and take this test in a quiet environment so that you can concentrate on it Here is thirteen. The thirty-six plus thirteen is going to forty-nine. You know. Now, since I have already appeared for the test, I can answer. But there it is. It, you can see how it's taking time. You know. Now, this question also. I, this number twenty-seven. I have really guessed. I think that answer was wrong. I think its uh, answer is A. The first one, I think. I am still on 27 and 4 minutes are remaining. In that last 4 minutes, I think I answered 16 questions. The next one is at 4, 7, 11, 16, 20. It's getting added 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7. So the answer is 29. we need to understand the pattern and then it that answer will click in your mind easily so now this uh, next question number 30 has already appeared in the mock test somewhere so i remember it and you know this
this figure has turned exactly reversed and it has got two additions in that so it's number one i think you see how fast the things are moving now it's three minutes and i think in three minutes i answered 10 questions so you need to be fast you know because that 25 question mark was uh, passing mark was in my mind and the target was to at least answer 40 Let's see, I'm still rechecking here. So this question also was the, the income part, opposite of expense. So, you see, the lowest value question. So, this type of questions I think are appearing maybe more than five or six. So, if you are, if you know already, then you can already practice on the time. You will be easier for you for the answers is that 5, 6 marks, 7 marks, whatever the number it's appearing will be easier. I think number 37 I forgot to answer. I just jump to 38. You see, because there it will be going to take time, I had only 2 minutes. So I just jumped. Again, you see the lowest value number has appeared, question has appeared number 39 so just keep practicing uh, on the mock test couple of times three four times even if you think you know the answer you see suddenly something happened in the page uh, you know i just uh, thought that <laughs> the test had to be reappeared again but uh, luckily this also question was there in one of the mock tests And the practice session they have explained why how is a question answered or what is the reasoning for that so you know that also gives you uh, idea that how to go about if the certain similar question appears now you see all the shadows are pointing to the right so the left figure this Now see the test is complete so and loud like this message will appear so if you like this video please like share and subscribe the test answers will never come to know it will be from the company once they report to you so if you like this video please like share and subscribe and i hope this will be helpful for your employment and please comment if you think the answers are wrong thank you